Hey guys, thanks for checking this video out. Hope y'all are doing awesome. Today we've got the NECA tune release of the Ninja Turtles, the Target exclusive, the Leonardo and Shredder 2 pack. Now these things, we all know how hard they are to acquire. You gotta be there at the right time. And that's if someone isn't taking the entire stock. Lately they've been pretty good at restocking some of the stuff. So I was able to uh, catch the NECA rep at one of my local targets a couple of weeks back but i still never got around to doing a review or opening it but i am itching to bust this baby out of the box so we will do that shortly but yes let's just take a little moment to admire the classic turtles well this isn't the classic turtles logo the other one is kind of a little uh rounded off but still pretty classic awesome leonardo artwork shredder the figures there could not be more comic accurate. Man, this is just so awesome. So Leonardo vs. Shredder, Nickelodeon. They're owned by them, I guess, I suppose, yes. Here's a back product shot. Side shot, we've got Leonardo. And the other side, we've got Shredder. So Ninja Turtles logo down at the top. People who made all this possible down here at the bottom. NECA, you're, you're a cool company, but, you know, it's just, you've, you've heard the people already, NECA, you've heard them. You hear them all the time on, on Turtles. It's always fucking Target Turtles. To bust them out of the box. Man, that little diorama picture is cool. I'm sure you can use that for background for anything you're trying to put out there. I'm pretty impressed, especially with the Shredder. This Shredder figure is badass, and it's typically why I bought it, because the Shredder is my favorite Ninja Turtle character uh, overall, but of course my favorite turtle is Raphael. Lately I've been more inclined to Leonardo, I don't know, I just grew up, and I, I don't know, Leonardo just seems cool to me. I know he's one of the least liked turtles, but that's just my opinion. Man, they pose awesome. Shredder is great. Uh, Leonardo, the, the turtles, the articulation, posing ain't all that. You know, you have to use a lot of stands for them and whatnot to get dynamic poses. But for the most part, shit, look at that. Let's check out their accessories. So here we go. Leonardo comes with his little turtle communicator, the two katana blades. He's got some open hands. There's the TGIR, TGRI, uh... Ooze can, but of course that's the turtle one, so it's different. We've got the telecommunicator for Shredder with Krang on the screen. We've got Shredder's katana blade and four sets or two sets of interchangeable hands. He slices, he dices, even makes french fries in four different. Oh. These NECA turtles are badass. I, I, I see why, I mean, I've... Not just for nostalgic reasons, but these fucking figures are incredible. Holy shit. So, of course, articulation could be better on a lot of these figures, but for the most part... Oh, excuse me, sorry, I'm just adjusting here. So, Shredder is super awesome. Lateral raise is actually very impressive. Look at that. This is cool, they're kind of, they've got, they're attached by a little plasticky type of mold, so they're flexible and move. The shadowing, the lighting, the effect on the head sculpt and the helmet here is very cool. Here we go, here right now, not much better. The shadowing, the shading there, man, just like the freaking cartoon, the gray suit, the black belt. The spikes, the shreds on the shin. So, full 360 on the head, uh, full 360 on the arms, gotta be careful with the shoulder pad there as you see. I'm gonna show you the lateral raise, double jointed elbows and neck, it did a great job with the plastic mold and the feel on this one, it's not, it's not like the other ones. And I like how the paint here looks like all kinda, kinda naturally hand done, so it's very, very comic and cartoon accurate like. Waist twist, very good. Doesn't look up, doesn't look down, it doesn't, oh, it looks down fairly well, but doesn't really look up. Wrist articulation, hinge. He's got in and out of thighs, so his move much easier than the turtle. Double jointed knees, and since it's all black, you know, the space in there doesn't really, not so much of an eyesore. 
twisting of the calves and he's got toe articulation of course ankle hinge ankle side to side rock so the toe articulations definitely help with a bit more crouching dynamic posing let's set on the side right here let's see oh. Oh, attack pose, man. Oh, he doesn't look up. Never mind. Oh, sorry. Sorry, mate. I'm sitting set. Sorry, Leo. Just going to put Shredder down right here for a little bit. There we go. Cool. Awesome. And we're going to show YouTube. I'm going to let them check you out. So, yeah, we all know about the turtles. They're uh, pretty tight, but, you know, full 360 around here. I think the coloring on Leonardo here for the Toon Turtle is, you see, I can't really twist it there and I'm not trying to break the thigh on uh, getting the thigh cut because, yeah, we have the ankle moving here, but still it's it's that, it's that articulation that we need for certain posing. It's just going to look a little off. So the color for the turtle, I, I don't know, it just seems a little off to me. I don't know why. I thought he was a little different kind of, like a green. Maybe a little greener, less olive, less dark. Because the way I see it, I see it better with like like this. And of course, yeah, real similar, but still not, not quite. Could have been just a little brighter. Just me being nitpicky there. Hey, come on, stand up. You're standing up perfect. Almost. There you go. All right, cool. So neck articulation is good. He's got that extra neck joint down there at the bottom full 360 looks up okay looks down fairly well bicep swivel pinless joint so but it's a little tight so you gotta really work his elbows wrist articulation grips the swords very very well facial expression is pretty cool what the hell yo there we go nice so that's a little weird right there for me you got a little bit of so let's get to work on the lighting here there we go got a space in there right under the belt and a little space in there. This looks kind of off to me. The hips, there's waist twisting and the hips are separate from that. Splits out fairly well. Very good, does a full van down, look at that. Kumite, kumite. Double jointed knees, does good. Kicks back, kicks forward, really awesome. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Bend it right here. Uh, see, you don't always need a figure stand, but you just got to work on the posing and the articulation to make sure it's sturdy. And I'm just still not trying to break the legs, trying to figure out if the um, thigh swivel works, but. This is actually really, really cool feature. I like this a lot. I, I, I like the way the belt and the packs here, just with the sword sheaths. Just go right in there. Do they even fit? Are they even for this? Just like that. Of course, I like them better. Uh, I like these better. Man, just the nostalgia from these from getting this as a kid. Just getting the swords, taking them off. Like, fuck yeah. Look at that. Man. You rip these out of the packaging and start playing with them. Make your little fight scenes. Bebop and Rocksteady. Shredder. Old 1988 Playmate. Metalhead's Playmate. That was an awesome one. Just Slash was a badass figure too. Super awesome. But yeah, that's all I'm doing there. I guess that's how it's supposed to go. There. That was the smoothest that it was able to go in. Uh huh. And here we have Mattel's 80 Years Batman. Batman DC Originals. Uh, I really like this figure, man. It's really cool. Just the gun doesn't actually shoot out like the uh, 
or the belt doesn't come out like the 90s figure but nonetheless this is a super neat Batman pairing him up there with Leonardo and that scale is about right if you saw the uh, uh, cartoon movie of uh, Ninja Turtles meets Batman and yeah that whole fight scene between Shredder and Batman fuck that was awesome that was so cool yeah, come on Roku stand up there you go Now, I would like to see a Night Thrasher versus Shredder. Like, that'd be cool. Like, I don't know. Think about it. The Foot Clan crosses territory. He takes out a whole a whole pack. And then Shredder wants to know who this Night Thrasher is. And he runs into the thir turtles. And then they realize they have a common enemy. And yeah, there you go. Cool. Oh. Some fucking sweet chin music. That's what that was. Shit. But I don't know. That'd be a great fight. I don't know. Shredder is pretty good, man. I don't know. Oh, fuck. But then Shredder teams up with uh, I mean, Prophet Director Destro. And uh, Destro brings in all these fucking Red Ninja to meet, uh, team up with the Foot Clan. Oh, shit. The Ninja Turtles and uh, Night Thrasher here are going to... Can I get their money's worth for a fight? And here comes Ken with a chair. Whoa! So yeah, these NECA figure uh, Toon Turtles Target exclusives. They're really cool. I'm pretty impressed with the Shredder. He moves great. He's got awesome articulation. Very, very accurate. And of course, just... I don't know. All-time all -time favorite character. Him and Casey Jones, man. I like a bad guy and I like a good guy. So... Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all get lucky enough to snag one, get some. They're really cool. The turtles are neat. They're fun. Very nostalgic. Of course, they're not for playing, but they do make great for toy. They do make great for toy photography, and just posing out and having out in a little figure shrine of everything that uh, we love to collect and everything that made us who we are today. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, happy hunting.